Now, the latest on the coronavirus and the dramatic jump in cases led by a worrying number of children now getting sick. Michigan is under more COVID stress right now than any other state in the country. Take a look at these numbers. The daily cases tell the story. They're now rising to levels nearly as high as the latest big surge. That was around the holidays. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer told Face the Nation yesterday she's frustrated that the Biden administration will not send a larger share of vaccine doses to her state. We know we've got even greater capacity. We could get more vaccines in arms. And when there is a surge, we think that it's important that we we go to, we rush in to meet where that need is because mm -hmm. what's happening in Michigan today could be what's happening in other states tomorrow. President Biden says Michigan will get more help to carry out testing and vaccinations. Joining us now is Dr. Ashish Jha. He's the dean of Brown University School of Public Health. Good morning to you, Dr. Jha. Always good to see you. Good morning, thanks for having me on, Gail. So we're gonna start with this. Let's start in Michigan, of course, where right now people are very concerned about the number of children. So I wanna get your reaction to that, in particular, and what you think needs to be done about it. Yeah, so the, the situation in Michigan is pretty concerning. Obviously, they're seeing a lot of infections. It's, it's as bad as it was over the holidays. Uh, the variants are definitely one of the drivers of it. And what we need to do right now is a combination of people in Michigan need to try to stay home as much as possible for the next few weeks. And from a policy point of view, we absolutely should be surging both testing and vaccinations to Michigan. You know, many states are sort of not even using up their supplies anymore. Instead of sending more vaccines there, we should now be sending more and more vaccines to Michigan and other hotspots. But is Michigan, do you think, Dr. Jean, an indication of things to come for other states? You know, I'm hoping not. I think a part of the reason Michigan got into trouble is actually in the fall and winter, they did better than many other states. So they have a lot more vulnerable people who have not been infected. It's unfortunately one of the downsides of having done a better job. Uh, I, I'm hoping that other states, as long as people keep vaccinating, are going to be able to avoid what Michigan is going through. Now, let's, let's turn to that J&J &J vaccine, because Georgia is now the third state to temporarily shut down sites for giving the J&J &J vaccine. And all the experts say, don't worry about it. Everything is still OK. At what point should we get concerned? Because this seems very concerning about the J&J &J vaccine. Yeah, Gail, look, uh, we've got to watch the data, and we should be concerned when the data says that we should be concerned. Uh, right now, when we're vaccinating millions of people, the reactions we've seen have been very mild, uh, lightheadedness, some people have felt nauseated, and that has happened in a tiny, tiny portion of people. So my take is follow the data, and once it looks concerning, or if it ever looks concerning, uh, then obviously act. So far, I haven't seen anything that concerns me. I'd still feel very comfortable uh, recommending J&J &J for my family. You would, okay. Uh, have you gotten your vaccine? I have. Okay. Which one did you get? Do you mind saying? What? No, I don't mind at all. And I didn't have any choice. I, I got it at my hospital. I got the Moderna, and okay. I got I found out what I was getting when I landed when I got there. And they just they said okay. this, this is what you're getting this morning. I know that's what happened to me too. I would take whatever they had given me. But let's talk about people who've been vaccinated. A lot of us have. And so how much protection do we have with the vaccine? How long do you think it's going to last? And does it protect people against the variants? Yeah, so these vaccines are really remarkable. I, I think they're going to last. Uh, so so far, the evidence says they're going to last at least six months. But I think that's a floor, not a ceiling, meaning I think these vaccines are going to last at least a year, probably longer. Uh, they seem to hold up very well against all the variants. Against the UK variant that's spreading widely, it's it's terrific. Even against some of the more tricky variants, it seems to be largely holding up. All right, Dr. Ashish Jha, always good to have you to talk about this. We thank you.